In this tutorial of Lean Screen within PostScreen Mobile, as well as the soon to be released standalone app Lean Screen, uh, I'm going to walk you through the basics. Now, this of course is born out of our patent pending technology with application using the Department of Defense equations. Um, and where my patent is unique is that um, I'm able to do this from photographs and not use uh, traditional anthropometric measuring techniques on an actual subject. And uh, I want to walk you through the digitization process. Now, the biggest thing that you need to realize is that uh, lean screen is just as accurate as the person that is doing this and you have to make sure a that the person's height is legitimate um, many times women exaggerate their height um, as do some men so it's your best bet to actually truly measure their height because we're going to use that as a calibration okay next one of the things that you're going to need to do is we're going to also get um, <coughs> make sure that when we take the photograph that we calibrate correctly. And I'll walk you through that because I'm going to do this slowly. And I have other videos on this. As you can see, this is iOS 7 ready. And this is our new makeover of Posture Screen. I know you're going to love it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go into an existing case. We're going to go into Teresa's case. We're going to do another examination for Teresa. And what's really important is that you have to have a date of birth in here. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do instead of taking a photograph, I'm going to, I have already have a photograph of one of my patients. We're going to go ahead and pull her in. This is the most critical step that we need to do. We need to pan and zoom the top of her head and bottom of her feet to those yellow lines. Then hit save. We're going to pull in the lateral view. Once we pull in the lateral view, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to pan and zoom just to where the top of her head and bottom of her feet touch, and we hit save. Now, most of you already know how to use the posh screen portion of this. In this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and click begin lean screen. Now, at the very top of the page, you see where it says to mark the anatomical landmarks. And the left is the doctor or fitness professional's left, not the patient's left. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna measure the left of her neck and then left of her neck here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bisect between the xiphoid, the end inferior aspect of the sternum called the xiphoid process and the navel. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here and in here now. Men and women have different anatomical landmarks where we're going to digitize. However, in my application, what we've done is we've duplicated these so that way it's easier on a staff member to uh, do this correctly. Um, and if you have to move the points, you could go ahead and move it up if you need to move it up. If they're wearing baggy clothes, you could, you could go ahead and come in just a little bit as well too. Ideally, it would be best if you did not have the patient in baggy clothing. That's common sense. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and also estimate where her navel, navel is. And then we're going to go ahead and hit her hips. And then we will go ahead and move on to the lateral aspect of the back of her neck and front of her neck. We're going to hit those same parts now on the uh, between the navel and the xiphoid. Now here's the uh, caveat here. You may need to position the person when you take the photograph, make sure that their arm is not in the way of the, their back. If it is, you're going to have to do your best estimate. Sometimes um, before I take a photograph, I make sure that they move their arm just slightly. And you can also use these, these photographs uh, for their posture analysis. But we're going to go ahead, since her uh, shirt is blousey on the back, I'm going to come in just a little bit there. And then I'm going to go ahead and touch those points. And then quickly and easily just touch those points. Next, we're going to go ahead and generate the lean screen. Now, if you look here, this is a wonderful estimation of the person's body composition. As you can see, we have her between the 21 to 24% mark, which is the fitness level. Uh, the BMI, 
And note the BMI is slightly uh, skewed on at especially athletic people. Anybody that's using this body composition software should be aware of what these mean. Um, and waist to hip ratio, um, uh, any health professional or fitness professional will know what this means as well. And if you look down, down at the bottom, we have the lean body mass, fat body mass, as well as the BMR, which is simple calculation. We can go ahead and look at the front and side views if we want to pull that back up, go back to the results. If we want to generate a document, we can go ahead and just pull up the PDF to show the client what we're going to email them. This is not the, the, the way that I would prefer doing the uh, email. I'll show you in just a second. But it goes through and shows how uh, what the body composition average body fat means, explains body mass index, as well as explains the waist and hip ratio. Okay, Very informative, and this is quite possibly the fastest analysis of body composition that is highly accurate with a trained professional. We've done numerous tests against uh, some of the standards in the industry for body composition and routinely we're within 3% of even the best methods even when they're in clothing. However, it is critical that you calibrate correctly. If you fail to do this, you're going to get erroneous findings. So please don't email me um, pictures saying that lean screen is not accurate when you didn't calibrate correctly or you have the wrong height of the, the subject in there. So um, please do your best to calibrate correctly. Now, if you want to send this to the patient, it's quite simple. We just hit the send on the bottom right. And you can see we didn't do a posture analysis on this patient. So we hit send lean screen. Now the comparative analysis of subsequent lean screens will be forthcoming in a future release. Right now we just have the lean screen. We wanted to get this out as quickly as possible to everyone because uh, many of you have already seen this at uh, trade shows and you've been asking us when could this be available as an adjunct to those that are doing weight loss in their clinics or their fitness um, uh, studios. Um, and this is a perfect complement to more advanced body composition techniques. Remember this is an estimate, estimation uh, built on the Department of Defense what they've been doing for the last 30-35 uh, years um, in research. So it, it definitely uses some of the best equations statistically, but certain uh, aspects will be skewed if you have a big bodybuilder or a powerlifter that is dense and maybe their body fat doesn't equate to their body dimensions, then of course this may be skewed. Um, but for your average population, this will be highly uh, valid measurement. Okay, so what we're going to do is, uh, getting back to this, I'm going to go ahead and hit email. When we click email, if you didn't put a password, you're going to get that little warning. Notice again, just like posture screen, it will blind carbon copy uh, the person that um, is in charge of the facility, um, as well as the, the client. And of course, I have my email for both of those. And you can see down on the bottom there is the PDF document. Okay, so I could just go ahead and hit send, and off it is. Now, if I wanted to come back and do a posture analysis on that person, all we have to do is just come back into Teresa and just hit edit screening. And we could go ahead and hit begin posture analysis. And of course, then we could go ahead and do their posture analysis. It's quite that simple on how to do lean screen. And I know you guys are going to love this. And just like I said, the follow-up examinations for comparison is forthcoming in uh, the next release. So. I'm glad you guys are going to be able to enjoy this. And if you have any questions, feel free to simply email us at info at postureco. That's like posture company, postureco.com. Thank you.